Hey you guys, it's me. Um, I am going to do my top 10, top 10 best movies of the year. Um, last week on Wednesday, I did my, um, worst movies of the year. And that was very long, so... This is going to be very short. Um, for last week, for my worst movies of the year, um, I list them and it was just too long. It was actually 17 minutes. It's 15 minutes, but it's actually really 17 minutes, they cut it me off, so that's why, so I'm sorry for that, you guys. I do apologize, and I have my list right here for top 10 best movies. So, um, my top 10 is... Num number 10 on my list is both Snowden and Finding Dory. So, I repeat myself. I will repeat myself. It's Snowden and Finding Dory. Those are both so... Those two are good movies, really good movies, so I highly recommend both of them. And number nine on my list is both, uh, which is Accountant with, with Ben Affleck, Account, and... And deep water horizons. Now, um, those two accountants or count, <laughs> count or countess, um, with Ben Affleck, it's a a very good movie. So, I highly recommend both account and deep water horizons. So I highly re I highly recommend that. And number eight on my list is both Sully and Don't Breathe. Now Sully, it's with Tom Hanks, and it's based on a true story, and. For the other movie, which is Don't Breathe, that is a, a good horror movie. So I highly recommend both to go see. And um, number seven on my list is both, which is Nerf and The Shallows. Those two are really good, so I highly recommend both. One is a video game movie, and the other is a shark movie. Um, the Shallows is a shark movie, and Nerf is a game movie. And number... Six on my list is both The Nice Guys and and um Eye of Eye of the Sky so it's both Eye in the Sky and and um The Nice Guys so 
both movies are really good, so I highly recommend both. And, um, number five on my list is two animated movies, which called, which it's called Angry Birds and Kung Fu Panda 3. Now, once again, I highly recommend it. Those two are just plain good. Plain really good kids movies. And number um, four on my list is Eddie the Eagle and How to Be Single. Now for the now for Eddie of the Eagle, it's based on a true story. It takes place in the eighties. And um I I highly recommend that and um the other one is called How to Be Single and Man, I was very surprised and in shock about this movie. I thought I would totally hate this movie or would say, eh, like a C minus, but I was very surprised about this movie. How to be single. So, I highly recommend both to go see, which is how to be single and Eddie and Eddie Eddie the Eagle and um number three on my list is Age of Seventeen. That is a really good movie, so I highly recommend to go see that, you guys. So, check that one out. And number two on my list is Deadpool with Ryan Reynolds. I love Deadpool. I love everything about it. I love the screenplay. I love the story. I love the actor Ryan Reynolds I just really like him from the beginning he's one of my favorite actors of all times and the number one on my list is called Arrival I know a bunch of people would get very, very confused and complex about the story. And I don't blame them. I got a little bit confused myself when I first saw it. And I saw it again with my friend Derek. And... And for the second time, I will like it. I like the story. I like the screenplay. I like the cinematography. I just, I just love it, period. I love the screenplay. I love the story. I love all of the actors and actresses. I thought it's a really good movie. Bunch of people might get really confused about this movie. But, um, hey, it's, it's just me. I really like this movie a lot. A lot. A rival. And, um, I highly recommend that to go see. And, um,. Like I said, and I'm going to say it again, bunch of people will get very confused and 
complex about this movie because it will keep going back and forth back and forth to like now in the future now in the future now in the future so so that's on my list all the movies on my list and um that's it and um i will see you all you guys tomorrow bye